Welcome back and we are going to try to carry another game with Fanny. For the matchup we have Fanny, Moskov, Thamus, Belerick, Farsa on our team. Dyroth is their jungler so we need to delay his farm. Both Sun and Carrie are going for attack speed build with their Inspire so we need to buy that Ice Shield later on. And both Lolita and Selena's stun are not direct to target so we have more leeway there. Moskov there putting on a show with his recall effect and he's now heading back to his lane. And at mid it's only Belerick who's holding the fort. Farsa is at bottom lane. So I'm signaling her to come back to mid lane. And now they got Belerick and they're trying to invade Lolita Flickers. They tried to steal the buff but we secured the blue. Now we're level 2. They're chasing us while we're chasing Lolita and we secure the kill. Dirath dashes towards us and we fight back cabling back and forth. Selina re-engages but we secure the triple kill. Now this is what Moskov has to to say. I'm pretty sure we were able to pull that off because of Moskov's recall dance. Now they're gathering at mid and we are gonna engage them again so we are not gonna take this golem. First we're just gonna poke them with a 3 cable reverse but Dirot stops us mid here so we're gonna commit using Fanny's main combo and we got Selena. Dirot tries to escape but we chase him down and finish him off with cables to the wall. As we're recalling back to recharge Thamus is already invading the blue buff and Belerick is helping him out. So we're gonna head over there to help as much as we can and hopefully get the blue buff. So zipping in with two cables, Belerick is slow, we got the blue, Thamos got the triple kill and he got the maniac too. And we got one assist there and the whole team is going for the turtle so we can help them out. Though maybe the best option here is to push mid so that it would be harder for them to contest the turtle because they would be busy in defending the tower. And true enough, Lolita is here, she's probably scouting for the team but she's out leveled, outnumbered. That's why we were able to kill her easily. Our teammates are engaging the enemy at mid but we're low on energy so we're just gonna wait for it to regen while we take our blue buff and the plan is we're gonna invade the enemy jungle after this and pressure the lanes especially top since carry is catching up to us since the gold difference between our team's top performer and carry is just under 200 gold. But our main job is in the jungle and to contain the enemy's jungler so we just have to trust Moskov in dealing with Carry. And now engaging with Diroth, Selena fires stun but we were able to dodge it by a hair and they're chasing Diroth, disregarding everybody else and we got the enemy's jungler. Selena fires a stun but it's way way off and Lolita is still chasing us and we're just gonna ignore her as we go to bot to help with this gank on sun. Now this is what I call overkill, they definitely don't need me there so I'm just gonna go and get the red buff and push mid afterwards because our mage has completely ignored it. Now Diroth and Selina are in mid so we're gonna go pay them a visit. So we're gonna defend this tower and engage by doing a 3 cable reverse and the whole gang is here. So we cable back in to burst the enemy down. Farsa got Diroth as Selina flickers out to hide behind the tower, she thinks she's safe but she is not. With that team fight, in addition to our prior engagements with Diroth, I can say that we pretty much achieved our objective of containing the enemy's jungler. So the biggest threat right now is Kari, who is luckily revealed in the map when Moscow fired his ultimate to the bot lane. So we're going after Kari even without blue buff, in which case we use retribution with normal attacks before finishing her off with our first skill. Meanwhile, Thamus was able to deal with another DPS threat in the bottom lane, which is Sun, before falling to Lolita. Now we're just gonna get our blue buff and get objectives afterwards, like the mid tower or turtle and we don't need to worry about top lane because Moskov already pushed and destroyed the tower so we're just gonna take the turtle and true enough our teammates are there already Farsa and Belerick with Thamus heading there as well. I'm glad that everyone is here helping with the turtle but I'm a bit concerned with Sun pushing at bottom. And out of nowhere, Lolita dashes towards Belric, finds herself in a bad position with an easy kill for the team. Selena follows her to the grave. And we're heading mid to defend the push by Diroth. We're not going to engage him because our energy is low, so we're just going to take this minion wave. And our allies are defending bottom lane now, so it's safe for us to go to the jungle and resume our farm to get our lead even bigger. Here, I actually wanted to invade the enemy's blue jungle, and Belric feels the same way as he's signaling us to go there. Luckily Thamus heeded the call and went there as well so it's time to go there but Diroth already got the blue so we're gonna farm Diroth and we are not gonna chase Lolita anymore because I saw Carrie on the minimap and then I wanted to conserve energy so that we can engage her and Moskov is baiting her towards mid. We go in to outflank her and cut off her escape route. Carrie falls to the ground, Selina engages but then dashes away. We are low at health now so we're just gonna regen our health while taking this blue buff.
The earth is low so we're gonna tower dive blindly at mid and to my surprise we only see Lolita and she stuns us before we can even finish our combo. In that Selena arrow made sure we won't chase Lolita. At this point we got enemies at mid and at bottom. Carrie is at bot so we're gonna go over there to deal with this carry threat. We are going in with two cables, Carrie dashes forward but this is the same direction of the cables and we finish her off with a cable to the wall. Meanwhile something's happening at mid and we need to go there to offer Moscow our assistance. Farsa and Belarik are heading there too, so we better make our way. Our teammates are already engaging, they already got Moskov, we go in, we got the kill on d -Roth. Now we're chasing Sun, but he's too far away. So still chasing, but the Selena arrow out of nowhere stuns us. Selena engages and retreats, and at this point I should have retreated as well, but I got greedy and made poor cable decisions. Now I'm low at health and energy, and Selena's trying to chase me down, and she got me. There were three levels of mistakes there. First is chasing after Sun even with low energy. Second is chasing despite being stunned and that led to poor cable decisions. And third is missing a cable that could have saved Fanny's life. After taking the blue, I was about to take the red when I saw our teammates going after the Lord. So we are gonna go there and help them out. I actually have a bad feeling about this because we're outflanked by Selena and Sun. Tried to dodge that airborne but wasn't able to, Dirt came in and took the Lord and he paid for it with his life. What we should have done there is to deal first with Sun who is pushing at bot so that we don't get out flank and check the bushes for enemies hiding. And lastly if your team is securing the Lord and you're the jungler with retribution, you should avoid airborne especially if the Lord's health is low so that you'll be in a position to secure it with the retribution. And we got hit again by Selena's arrow, she engages us but then retreats. Carrie attacks us as well but Moscow skewers her to the wall and got the kill. Lolita and Sun joins in the fray but they backed off not committing to the engagement. Now we're just observing what the enemies would do just poking around but Sun is going in for Moscow. He is committing so he is now our target. We're ramaging through the clones looking for the original and he shows himself by running away. So we're chasing him cabling in to the ultimate to eliminate the monkey. And we're gonna retreat for now to recharge our energy. We lost Farsa and Belarik, but we were able to get Kairi and Sun and Thamus was able to push bottom lane. But it's not over yet, so we're heading towards top. And Lolita is lower, going after her, got the kill. Selena's also here, going after her, and she falls to Fanny's ultimate. And now we're gonna deal with this massive minion wave, which is surprisingly easy. Kairi is pressuring mid and Thamus is having difficulty dealing with her and now d is there as well so we're gonna head over there but before that we're gonna get our blue buff and regen our health and energy. Thamus have fallen valiantly while defending the tower and the enemy once more they try to invade the blue buff now waiting for the right time to secure the blue buff and to engage the enemy and we got a kill. Now the best thing to do is to invade the enemy jungle while waiting for the minion wave so that we can push mid. But here I got impatient and went for the minion wave at mid because I want to take out all the tier 2 towers. And it led to this, an excellent initiation by Lolita. Selena hits and runs away leaving Lolita alone but she can't escape. Sun enters the fray, we engage him but our energy is low. Just enough to finish Lolita with our first kill and Sun was able to shut us down. I underestimated his DPS at that time I engage him without even having the ice shield. Belarik has it but he's not there so he has his full attack speed plus his clones. Now we're taking the Lord and I'm pretty confident that we can secure this one and wait for it to spawn before engaging the enemy. So the best thing to do after this is to push the lanes as far as we could. I don't mind that airborne just now because we just secured the Lord. Sun is looking for a fight and he commits but he's surrounded by our team. He has no choice but to deal as much damage as he can before falling down. Dirith shows himself from the bush, Moskov skewers him before finishing him off. And we can finally push mid and since the blue buff is almost up I'm just gonna go for it real quick while our teammates are seizing the mid turret. And out of nowhere Carrie shows herself, we ignore refocus on the blue before dealing with her and she got eliminated. Now it's 5v2 and we can really end this right now and Moskov there with his recall dance. It could have been better if I recalled back to base to regen health and energy before engaging in the fight. Here I went in and got hit again by Selena's arrow. I got killed but I got immortality. Sun just respawned in desperately defending with his clones before finally retiring for good.
Now for the post-game analysis. We almost have the same team fight participation with Belarik and almost the same hero damage with Moskov. Let me know in the comments if this is helpful and what I can do to make it better for you.